All right, we're here in the square. We've got Michael Bridge. Sky Sports' very own Michael Bridge, please, please. Tottenham's very own Michael Bridge, please. Got Sim, my brother. Yeah, man. How are you feeling about the game? Well, first, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, I've not been to the new camp before as a Tottenham fan, so uh, it's going to be an exciting game. I think it all hinges on whether Messi starts or not in terms of our chances. If it starts, then maybe Arsenal. Have you heard anything about the lineup? What are they going to do? I think he traded with the first team last night. Um, I think the likes of PK, Suarez might be resting. A few of the uh, B team might be on the bench. I, I think Messi might start. Um, I, I think he's done just because he's chasing that Ronaldo record yeah, he's, in the yeah. Champions League. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's but they've just played Espanyol. They've got an event on Saturday or Sunday, so you know it's a quick turnaround for them as well. But um, no, I mean, I think I think we've got to assume Messi's going to play. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm assuming he'll play, and you know, Spurs got a handler. Are well, you not worried about Carl Walker Peters coming he's up Messi. against Guzman <laughs> Dembele or Messi? Well, the thing is, what was interesting yesterday. Maurizio said that he trusts Carl Walker Peters, but the, the plain fact is he hasn't played much this yeah, season. Yeah. So, you know, he's preferring Aurier and Trippier. But Trippier. he's got to say that, doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely. Look, I liked what he said as well. Though. He said, look, this boy's won the 20 World Cup. Look, go and make a name for yourself. You know, if, it, if it was Aurier starting tonight, we'd all say, oh no, you know, a bit worried about him. Just, you know, it's the biggest game of his career. It could be the biggest game of his life. Yeah. You know, just go yeah. out there. He's a cons he seems a very consistent player. He's been very consistent throughout the academy. Go and enjoy it. All right, can we push you for a scoreline? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? The sad thing is, if it doesn't happen, I'll look back on the Inter game because when they yeah. won two one at the end, all the PSV games. Yeah, yeah. but the, the Inter one really stuck to me. Like, it took me a long time to get over. I don't know why. I think it was the fact that Inter were the team that they were probably going to be up, to, supposed to be up against for that second place. So it, it really stuck a chord with me losing to Inter. But you want a prediction? I think Spurs will get a draw. Whether that's enough, we'll see. Well, let's hope Spurs alone for us in Milan. If we get through, will this be Pochettino's best ever result as Spurs manager? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be one of the greatest comebacks in, in, Brit in British history. I mean, they've gone about Liverpool and etc. etc. Spurs are dead and buried. Yeah. Like, you know, I mean, Hugo came out with his goal like it was Street Fighter or Tekken 3. He would be away, unfortunately. <laughs> Be, it's supposed to be on nine points now, but look, they've done well. Let's, let's get positive. They've done well to turn it round, to give, a, give themselves a chance, and that's why there's over 10,000 here, you know. What oh, beautiful man. weather, by the way. Amazing, 10,000 <laughs> Best fan, best fan. Michael Bridge as well, I love yeah. it. Come on, you Spurs! Come on, you Spurs! Come on, you Spurs. Come on, you Spurs.